Hey guys, today this video is a makeup tutorial ish on this look right here. It's very dark, almost vampy, very, very fall time appropriate. The eye look here only composed of three eyeshadows and they are all from Makeup Geek, so they are very good quality and very, very affordable. This is really a very easy and simple makeup look, which is the case of most of my makeup. So, if you want to see how to get this dark, vampy, but very affordable makeup look, then just keep on watching zoom you guys in a little bit closer so that you can see more clearly first i'm gonna prime my eyes with the what's this called urban decay primer portion to prime my eyes then i'm gonna go on with the makeup geek eyeshadow unexpected and to apply it with the base shadow brush from real techniques use this shadow as the transition shade just use it as a base it's a very beautiful purplish gray color and perfect for this type of cool tone makeup look going with one of my favorite makeup geek shadows this one is called uh, prom night i was the same base shadow brush from real techniques just the other side because that's how lazy i am it's this beautiful purplish gray taupe color apply this shade all over my eyelids as you can see it's just really beautiful it's very shimmery very just brighten up your eyes next i'm going with the makeup geek shadows called drama queen it's this dark purple eggplant color and i'm using with the the looks crease shadow brush is that what it's called from real techniques and i'm just gonna pack on the color all over my eyelids i try to keep it more around the lids area not too high up the crease and just packing on the color then i feel this favorite color of mine the prom queen uh no prom night kind of fade away so i'm go back and apply it some more back to the drama queen with the same brush then i'm gonna pack the color back more so both color can really show up finally i'm using a random uh, blending brush and just blend all the color together especially the harsh line outside blend 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 so that all the color can be infused together as you can see there are some fallout at my under eye area which is not cute at all so i'm using the la go pro conceal to uh, apply at my under eye area by the way i already applied a foundation in this video so i'm just going to conceal my under eye area and also just to you know clean up the fallout of those eyeshadows use the la grow glide gel liner the black one to line my eyes and then moving on with the hyper sharp liner from Maybelline and I'm just gonna uh, line my eyes and I kind of do a pretty dramatic wing here I just saw it looks nice with this makeup look and those eyeshadows this eye look is really a little bit messy just like most of my eye look but uh, I really like it the sun went down at that time so yeah i'm looking at outside so it becomes a little bit darker then going on with the same uh, la girl glide gel liner do my waterline i guess i zoom in a little bit too close so i go out of frame sorry about that apply the drama queen shadow with this more precise brush i forgot what it's called i will list it afterward and i just gonna apply it at my lower lash line and going with the kiss me mascara this is a mascara from a very very popular japanese drugstore brand all their mascara are just awesome i will talk about them more in my uh, part two asian makeup video so this mascara just give quite a lot of curve but i guess i got it a long time ago so it's kind of dried up so i'm going on with the second layer try to give my poor lash a little bit more volume and more curve 
so that's it for the eye makeup as you can see it's very blown out but a little bit messy but I personally really like it and we cannot forget the brow so I'm using the precision brow pencil from bourgeois and just filling my brow I really like this brow pencil a lot I think it's so easy to use and it gives a pretty natural uh, finish the sun is kind of coming in and out so sorry about the weird lighting I should probably go get a ring light or something soon I'm going to bronze my face with the NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm using the contour brush from Real Techniques and just to bronze over my face and contour a little bit nothing too fancy The blush I'm going to use today is also from NARS. This is the NARS Sin. I have a NARS blush collection video, I will link it down below. I really like this blush a lot. It has this very beautiful berry undertone. Although on my cheek, it just appeared to be more like a darker pink. But you can still see a little bit berry in it. And I just think this blush suits the eye makeup a lot. For highlight, I'm using the NARS The Multiple in the shade uh, Copacabana. It's also this type of champagne color, but I also feel there's a hint of purple. I just think all those products kind of complement each other. They are all a little bit cool tone and with a hint of purple, and I just think it looks very beautiful all together. So I'm just applying on my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose and a little bit uh, at the brow bone. Last but not least for my lips, I'm using the Jura Cosmetics Lip Gloss. This is super pigmented, almost like a liquid lipstick and this shade is in Plum Crazy. So as you can guess, it's a dark plummy color. The color looks a little bit off on the camera. The real color in person looks much more um, plummy and much darker. And again, it's in the same purple, plummy, berry family. And I just think this lip color and all the eyeshadows and this blush color just looks so great together. And I really think it suits fall a lot. So that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this look as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like my videos and I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.